Hello, this is Stephen here from the School Observatory in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I'm just going to do a quick uh, overview and breakdown of the artificial star that you can order from Hubble Optics online. Uh, the artificial star is used for collimating your cast screen telescopes. It's aligning your primary and secondary mirrors. So, uh, let's bring up my camera here. There we go. So this is the uh, artificial star here, yeah, tangled up in cords, and uh, yeah, on their website it looks like it's made of metal, and uh, unfortunately it's not. And also on their website, when they show pictures of it, this end here actually looks like it's uh, got a lens, an actual lens on it, something like this. And then it turns out it doesn't. So, but for $20, uh, you can't really go wrong. Um, it does do the job. And uh, I'll show some video here afterwards. But uh, they give you five stars to work with. These holes are actually precisionly made. I'm actually rather impressed on how well they did the variation in sizes. And then they just give you a magnet to stick over the end and cover up the stars that you don't want and use whatever size you want. They got different sizes for, well, your different distances, the stars away from the scope, plus your different focal ratios. So it's kind of nice there. But uh, I'll tear it down and show you how it's made. And honestly, if I would have seen a video like this, I would have made one myself. But... Uh, all it was was in, this used to be just your LED flashlight, as you can see. They got their whole reflector in it to direct all the light in the one direction. Five LEDs, the older style LEDs. These are the newer style LEDs I've seen coming out. They are use less power, much brighter. But would have been nice to see them made with those, but... Like I said, $20. It does not come with batteries. It takes three AAAs. But, uh, yeah. This is the piece I wish I would have seen. <laughs> if I can get it out. Yeah, I was assuming that it actually had a nice lens in the end of it and was made of metal. and It's not. You can't seem to get this out. There we go. So this is the actual lens that this flashlight probably had at one time. It was clear. And uh, as you can see, it's been sanded to make it into a diffuser. We sanded both sides on that. And then this is pretty much what you're paying for when you order it. This is their uh, little piece of metal with their holes in it. As far as I can tell, those holes actually don't go right through either. I don't know how they made them, but uh, yeah, that's what you're paying for. So as you can see, it'd be easy enough just to take like your LED flashlight that you can get from any store or whatever, and then uh, just scuff this all up to make a diffuser, your actual glass on it, and then take like a piece of pop can or a thin metal and really, really, really fine needle, probably like a hypodermic needle and puncture some holes in that and you'd have your stars so this being magnetic it'd be that simple to make an artificial star so but it's twenty dollars so can't really go wrong it depends on what your time's worth I ordered this like three months ago and the first one got lost in the mail Hubble Optics was actually really good about it they sent me a new one right away with tracking but uh, it took a while to get so, and uh, I'll just show you some video here. I did my collimation in my basement. I had about 40 feet between my scope and the star. And uh, <clears throat> this first one here is uh, with a three times Barlow, and then my camera, or diagonal three times Barlow, and then my camera, just to see how bad out my scope originally was. And as you can see, it is slightly out so 
I found this was actually easier to do with an eyepiece, but I took my time to drop a camera in it just to capture a bit of video to just for this video here. So when you initially do your uh, collimation, you want to do it just with your diagonal and then your eyepiece or your camera. So it'd be prime focus. And I took the magnet right off, used all five stars, and this will give you a rough collimation. And as you can see, this would probably be my ideal star to be using. So, and once you do your rough collimation, then you go take your uh, three times Barlow, drop that in, focus in on the best star that you had there. And then, uh, yeah, you do your fine tuning collimation. And this is what I ended up finishing off with. So as you can see, I'm zoomed in on the one star now and I can just like very, very fine tune it. And it doesn't take very many, very much of a turn on one of the screws to make this veer off one way. So I was at first intimidated, intimidated by doing the collimation, but uh, once I started doing it, it's actually pretty easy. It's not that hard to do. So there you have it. The artificial star order from Hubble Optics. They also have an eBay site you can order from as well. So thanks for watching.